Remember when we talked about occupied Japan? Well, occupied Japan was when the, the war, the occupation, and the imports were, had, were marked occupied, meaning that we were occupying the portion of Japan that these imports were coming from. Well, here is a cool occupied Japan item. And the reason it's so cool, not only does it say made in occupied Japan, but expert village watchers, this is actually, can you guess what this is? <laughs> Time's up. This would be the Great Wall of China, and it says made in occupied Japan. But what's more important and fascinating is this is a fish tank prop. You know when, they, when you bought a fish tank, so you put all these cool little treasures in there, like little chests. Nowadays, they have all this moving stuff. And, but see, this was just to pacify the fish, not the owners. These were cute little things, and the fishies would swim right through. They also made a lot of parakeet seed holders that went on those metal cages. Those are another occupied Japan item. But these are the kinds of things you'd buy in the dime store for, you know, like a dime. Sometimes when I find these, and I buy these when I find them because they're fun, they'll say like 10 cents, you know, like 10 cents on the bottom. Can you imagine something costing 10 cents? If you're as old as I am, you can. But if you're young, 10 cents would buy you maybe a piece of candy, okay? Not much. But anyway, this is one of the things that goes in an aquarium. It's very cool. It's the Great Wall. I've been to the Great Wall, by the way. This is a perfect facsimile. Great Wall. And this would go on the bottom. And you can tell it's been in the water a while because the paint's faded, which decreases the value. If it was perfect, 2015, this condition, 8 to 10.